Hey y'all, this is uh, Cole with Hegel Lawn Care, located here in Starkville, Mississippi. First of all, how y'all doing? Y'all go hit that subscribe button and comment. I love reading through comments, especially on my last video. But anyways, I'm going to show y'all where I store all my equipment, mainly on the weekends. Because I'm always going forward riding, fishing, hunting, you know. I stay busy, but during the springtime, they're pretty much on the trailer the whole time because I'm working every day except Sunday I don't work on Lord's Day I go uh, I go to church on Sundays but other than that I'm gonna uh, address some of the comments from the last video I did about the trailer setup one guy was asking you know the trailer you know how big is the trailer I didn't even, I didn't even say anything about it because I, I guess I forgot truthfully <laughs> yeah that's like one of the main things but anyway I filmed the video this morning about that trailer and um, everything y'all need to know about it and I'm gonna send y'all there right now you stay tuned hey guys here's the, the trailer y'all are asking about I just turned the lights on for the, the trailer so y'all can see them but this is a, a 2021 true grit trailer it is a six foot by 14 foot long Got chestnut brown stain on it with the rhino usa chalks i showed you all that in the last video if y'all haven't seen that go check it out but uh these are tie down points in the front and i got two in the rear back there these trailers are made in starkville mississippi they have led lights all the way around also got a spring loaded gate love that thing for you know I dropped the trailer so many times here's the manufacturer of this trailer so y'all can see it I painted it this past winter so that's the difference between the black and the black but it has dual axles 3,500 pound axles under there great for what I'm doing I mean I really don't need any more it's also got a trailer brake system for these hills I live in even though this neighborhood don't look like it has any hills but it does and then this whole trailer is actually square tubing which is really solid especially for holding racks and all that whatnot but anyway I'm gonna return y'all back to my shed video y'all stay tuned hey guys welcome back anyway I hope I uh, answered all y'all's questions about that trailer I have no idea why I didn't put all that in that trailer setup video but you know there it is for y'all but anyway let's get right into this uh, the shed tour I have you don't need a big shop to run a business even though it's my dream to own one of them shops one day but uh, you got you got to show where you start man it's a it's a grind it for sure is anyway let's get right into it this is a start with the shed the shed is a 12 by 8 shed i bought from the lowe's that they delivered it here on a pallet believe it or not all it comes with is the walls the window and just the main rafter is all it comes with you have to purchase the floor separate you gotta purchase the shingle separate, you gotta purchase the rent separate, the paint separate, everything. You know. But I built all this on my own. My neighbor helped me with this overhang over here. This this overhang is a uh, I wanna say between twelve and thirteen foot long and eight foot deep. But uh I keep the motors out here because I that's a twelve by eight shed, they're not gonna fit in there, but anyway there's the 
2023 bad boy revoked stand on mower love that thing here's a 2022 bad boy rebel beast of a mower and that last video i was talking about the charging system i had on here there's the push mower anyway it's a wire right here that runs you can see it on that one it runs up but they connect to this run straight up all the way to here and it charges both of them at the same time don't know why that's blinking but that's weird but anyway i also keep my wheelbarrow and then that's another wheelbarrow yeah whatever and then i have an extra spare tire gotta have a spare tire all right so i have an extra one but and i got a ladder and then a leaf rake that i barely use but that's pretty much it for the overhang i'm not a roofer so uh don't talk about that i did put these hurricane brackets on it hoping that will hold pretty good and it's also got a pitch not much of a pitch but it does have a pitch it uh, water runs straight off the back but if you can tell i have no idea what i'm doing when i'm laying 10. but hey i'm a landscaper i'm not a roofer but um let's get over here to the shed man anyway you buy this kit from lowe's they send it to your doorstep and you can build it yourself like i did so let's get into it oh forgot about that let me open this up weather that is a 2017 honda rancher 420 let me just uh move this side of the way Roll it on that. Let it stop. If y'all want a video on this, leave a comment in the comment section. Just type ATV and I'll make a video on that separate. If y'all are interesting, you know, it's got pipes and everything else you need. But anyway, the inside of it, you see where the tires stick on the four wheeler. Yeah, it's, anyway, this is a vinyl flooring I put in. It was a lot better than that OSB on the ground. Thought it looked better, but you know, it needs cleaned, of course. But anyway, I keep all the shovels and everything. I also just put everything up because I'm actually I'm actually done for the week. For um, today is Thursday, but Mississippi State University in Starville has their graduation tomorrow, and I worked during it last year, and I'm not doing it again. It's uh. It's crazy. A lot of people come here for that graduation, and traffic's just ridiculous. So trying to cut yards and stuff, it, it's not worth it. Plus, I got a thunderstorm coming in, I think, tonight. But anyway, let's get back to it. These are my shovels with the rakes, the clippers, backpack blower. I just had these little rag things in here. This is a nail. These you can buy. These hangers good i got an axe over here this is electric cobalt sprayer works real good that is a toolbox just for the four wheeler so when i take it on four wheeler rides i take that with me it's got old changes everything for that thing and the gas can for the four wheeler matches it with the olive green but also got a walk behind spreader and the sprayer another spray but anyway there's a pooper scooper I got some hedgers over here, never use this one. I use this one all the time. Electric hedgers, I love them because they're lightweight and I do a lot of hedging. If you run them gas ones, I have a gas one right there. It's an attachment. But um, yeah, they get heavy after a while. Anyway, let's go to the top shelf. I got my mower magic. If y'all never use that, that's the best way to clean a mower. Let me just tell you, best way. And of course, I got chemicals, fertilizers. Here's a blower for the. I usually use this on landscapes. I never use it cutting yards because it just don't have no power. But huh, I've been looking for that WD-40. But there's some bad boy hydrostatic oil, some um, chainsaw bar lube, 
and there's actually I think that's the stain for that trailer yeah it is chestnut brown Thompson's water seal that's what I used on that trailer if y'all are interested in that keep them trailers good that wood does rot after a while then you will know it anyway I got a grease gun I got an extra long reach for it you know you got to get up in the pulleys and everything on the mowers best way to do it also got a broom with the pitchfork and I think there's a, a weeder in there yeah you saw that in the last video anyway got all the trimmers hung on this wall using these little racks and a 2x4 mounted to the back wall got a craftsman chainsaw that I, I barely use it but this is a um, FS70 FC70 curve, curve shaft edger curve shafts I love curve shafts but y'all already saw all these trimmers I have this attachment all you gotta do is take the weed eater head off and which is just unscrews and you can put this in at the end and then screw it down and then you got a pole saw I bought it like that instead of the combi system I got that one for the hedger y'all saw that just a minute ago we come over here um that's a tiller do not buy that it ain't worth nothing it's like nine inches long nine inches well anyway i got a cobalt air compressor and then i love this this is my pride and joy in here but it's got five chargers with you know the five batteries i got a little impact half inch driver and then these are bit drivers right there and right there and that's a drill i got a grinder up under here i got a a jigsaw on the back and then yeah and then a fan on top you gotta use your power tools and then i have you know all the electric stuff and everything else you might need you know doing landscaping and stuff you're always needing more tools for sure anyway we look up here I got the Echo Speed Feeds. They're also the Speed Feed 400. They'll go on all your steel. But I just I just keep extra stuff in here that I need. Belts, of course. We need them all the time. But them are the cases for the impacts. I just put them up there because I didn't, I didn't really want to throw them away. And these are full of wires and papers. And this, I use this all the time. It's got everything you need let me pull it down for you if you mow yards all the time you need something like this anyway it's got fuel filters for the mower fuel filters for the weed eaters uh bubbles whatever you call it. a bunch of spark plugs in here all air filters i stock up man because I, you know i'm steadily doing maintenance it's better than taking it off and you know they're charging you a lot of money to fix everything that's actually a chainsaw sharpener that i try to use it but i really don't like it it just sits on the bar and then the grinding stone goes in it and that's how you sharpen chain i don't sharpen chains like that i sharpen chains with this the old way the old-fashioned way yeah anyway let's put all this up Okay, now that that's up, let's look at my pegboard. I got all different kinds of tools here. Silicone gun, you know, old filter things. Hammers, pliers, all electric stuff, and then needle nose, and uh, flatheads, Phillips, chalk line. <laughs> That's a half inch ratchet up there. I keep yes. I got a lot of cobalt stuff. I used to be a Dewalt guy Believe it or not, but um I used to work at Lowe's a long long time ago and I got some deals on cobalt so I switched everything to cobalt and I just stuck with them since but I got some wires miscellaneous stuff and That's actually stream for your pull cords That's a big one. I got that on Amazon some shit in there. This is my bolt thing. I keep random stuff in there. All bolts, washers, nuts. You know, just little stuff. And then, of course, air filters, 
for the mowers, field filters for the mowers, and you know, just all kinds of stuff. You know how. Sorry about that, guys, but uh, my camera got too hot. That's how hot it is in the 80s today, so feels like 90 something though. But anyway, let's get back to it. I keep air filters and everything up here. I think that's where I left off. And boost cables, screws, and you know, this miscellaneous stuff I keep in here. It's just sprinklers up there. And then I got my fluids, K and N stuff. I run all K and N filters in the full water truck and everything. And then love this stuff man cleaning chainsaws that is the best way to do it right there I'm telling you that's money anyway you got some more wd-40 that's um hedger stuff if you use your hedger you put that on it it won't seize up i got some blades down here i think these are all valor blades that's the razor that's the ripper that's the razor that is the gold blade let me show you that real quick anyway this is what it looks like used cuts real good they're nice and sharp ready to go again and then also the other one right there is the high lift but anyway this is my toolbox my grandfather when he passed away i inherited his toolbox anyway no sad stuff but i keep miscellaneous stuff in here and here i keep wrenches just about anything you need to work on pretty much everything. These are just Allen wrenches and you know, nut drivers and files and torque wrenches and breaker bars and more uh, grinder discs for you. And that's actually what I use to uh, get the grass off the decks. Paint scraper. Got some more stickers in here. Miscellaneous stuff bars and stuff like that. and down here I got paint guns and stuff I use to stain trailers and stain nests I use a paint gun I don't use that roller anymore which you know I've learned and I also have lights in here this is actually a solar light it only cuts on at dark but when you walk in here it's motion detected it cuts on and lights this whole place up there's also lights up under it But yeah, I mean the shed, it's just a typical shed, man. I don't have no actual, I don't have an actual shop, but I live in a small house with my wife and I had to make it work. You know, I wanted to pursue my dream and become my own boss and that's what you gotta do. You just gotta, you gotta, you gotta do it, man. You just take off with it. Keep mowing and keep making the money and Keep on going. Don't make any sense. But um anyway. I'll say. That's some deer horse. But this is pretty much it on the shed. It's not big. Like I said, it's twelve foot wide, eight foot deep. I put this on there so I can get equipment in here. But I just bought it for and I built it all myself. All this you're seeing. Built with my own two hands. Pretty much with hammer and nails. They gave me 2,000 nails. I think I used just about all of them. And I did screws. I mean, I did structural screws in the floor because I didn't know it was holding machinery. But other than that, I would never do it again. <laughs> Man, that was a project for the wintertime. I know that. Anyway, that's, uh, that's about it in here. If y'all have any questions, leave them in the comments. Give me a like. Of course, I support Cujo and b and Hitches. Here's my old sign I used to have for yards. I just put it on there. And then advanced shoot system sign. It's a box. I cut off. Extra batteries. They're dead. But, yeah, you'll get a little glimpse of my backyard. It's not big. I live on less than an acre. But I run a business out of it. So, you know, if I can do it, anybody can do it. You don't need, all I see on YouTube are these big fancy shops. I don't see anything about, you know, where they started. That just about wraps it up for this video. I hope y'all have a fantastic day. And um, y'all keep on grinding out there, man. This is a, 
especially this time of year. Just keep on grinding, keep on doing spring cleanups, keep on mowing, just keep on growing, boy. But anyway, I guess I'll catch y'all. Hang on, I'm trying to see y'all. It's pretty damn back here. You know, I got a big old, big old shade tree up here. But anyway, I'll catch y'all on the next one. Y'all have fun.